happy Sunday, everybody. We're going to Best Buy. We got a look at an external hard drive. And we're going to head over to Universal. Go do an Orlando United meetup. That's what the plan is. So, Best Buy it is. Hey, we got hung up looking at cameras because we're looking to get yet another little handy cam. This thing, if you've noticed lately, the sound is a little crackling on the video sometimes, and the picture is getting to the point where it's blurry. Um, but uh, it's such a tough decision trying to figure out what to get. I am looking at the Canon, I think it's the GX7. So if you guys ever have used that before, please let me know what your thoughts are. Or the Sony RX100, both are contenders. Now the guy in Best Buy was actually a camera junkie, um, like me, and knew like everything about different cameras. So I was looking at these mirrorless cameras that are kind of like the new wave of SLRs, which were really super cool. But I don't know if it has a lot of functionality because it's a little, still a little too bulky for me to use. But for picture taking, I think instead of buying another SLR next time, I definitely would upgrade with one of those mirrorless cameras because they were pretty cool. And they can use your lenses that you have previously for other brands with um, adapter rings. So that was awesome. And now our timing has kind of screwed everything up. So we're going to go over by Chipotle, grab lunch, then get down to Universal. This is one of those days that it doesn't seem like stuff is going right from the beginning. And someone's having a bad day. Wah, wah, wah. First of all, if you get that badass bike, why are you putting it in the back of your truck? Oh. But second of all, there's that little car that we wanted to buy. That car bike. Polaris. No, Polaris has a bike. Slingshot. Slingshot. By the way, this is the Sunday afternoon, one o'clock rush hour traffic. It's Sapphire Falls. Universal's new Wrist Resort. Had like a room by the dirt. The sign here says Sapphire Falls now too. Oh. See that? Woo! It does look pretty luxurious to me. Seems like a safe place to walk. Welcome to the 50th happiest place on earth. Hey, we're gonna play a game. You know you're at Universal when? Not working. Yet another escalator in City Walk. Not working. What the heck, Universal? This is like every single week that we come here. Back up, you're not far enough away from that shot yet. You gotta be further back. The adventure begins at Islands of Adventure and blinky stuff and cups, but mostly the adventure and crowds. We've got to go all the way to the back to Jurassic Park. That's where all the OU guys are hanging out, which is the furthest away point from the beginning of the park. This is probably the last time you'll see us without giant sweat marks on us. It's almost 90 degrees out. You can already tell this is way too crowded of a day for me. Look at how many people are here. I wonder which way Jurassic Park is in this place. Oh. So right outside of Toon Lagoon, you can get your first look at the Kong Struction. King Kong in the house, yo! And you notice I call it King Kong now instead of saying rumored because the Comcast folks in their earnings call said that it was Kong that's coming to Islands of Adventure. I'm just not sure of when, if it'll be this year or next year. Look at this other stuff over here. It is just so incredibly massive. It goes the entire section of like the Jurassic Park Lane. For one attraction. All these people are walking by, not even paying attention. Next year they'll be waiting hours to get in this ride. Perhaps as early as the end of this year. There you go. All the construction updates that you can handle right here in the cheap seats. So this is happening. This is like a busy summer day at this point. And by the way, the last time we were here, the river adventure was closed. They finished their refurbishment here. They just cleaned up the rocks. First stop of the day, we're gonna get some drinks at the watering hole over at Jurassic Park. What are you gonna get? Long Island iced tea. I'm gonna go top shelf margarita. By the way, if you have a chance to come over here and you want to have adult beverages, Merrick is the bartender. He is super fantastic. From England, likes Man U and Orlando City. Talks a good soccer and makes a pretty mean drink.
That's okay. All of these guys are trying to fit in the booth here. Where's the okay button? The answer is probably three people can fit. We got three or four. You can see everybody's faces in here. We're all going into Camp Jurassic. Here's another view from up above in the observation tower. Kong Destruction 2015. Rumor is they'll build it just so that they can tear it down again in another 20 years like the old Kong. They're already planning that one. That's schedule 2035. Here are some people flying by the new Kong Construction. I like how it goes all the way down here. Getting really tight. You know what I noticed here? We're at the observation tower inside of Jurassic Park, the little kitty land. They have this giant hole just open here where kids can just walk right under here and fall into this hole. Sorry, I'm not there. Yeah, look at that. Would you want to fall in there? What the heck? Do they have grading here? It's Captain America. Hey, by the way, Impact Wrestling is taping again today at Universal, but I didn't go. Well, it's one thing you'd have to notice when you're at the courtyard for Mardi Gras at Universal is that this statue, despite being in the sun, clearly in the sun, right here, very, very cold statue. What the heck? Somebody needs to get that statue a sweater. Hey, Tom! So here's an update on the Garden of Allah construction. There's really not much happening here. Still just looks like it's too high for us to reach over there. They're guarding it with their lives. Are you ready? We're gonna jump so you can see. <laughs> Here we go again. That's what we did for you guys. So right now over by Animal Actors, they have a display out for the cars from Fast and the Furious 7. Let me check these out for a minute. This is the car. It's all dusty already. It just got here. But look at all this dust. I don't know if you guys can see that with the reflection. Don't touch. And you got that crazy looking car over there. And this looks like it might be a Chevelle over here. There we go. <laughs> this is Dominic Toretto's car, Vin Diesel. Vin Diesel may have sat in this actual car. His DNA is in the car and it's here at Universal Studios. Here's people climbing on the car. This is what I think you should be doing here. Oh, finally somebody's getting in trouble for climbing on stuff. Here's the thing though, who cares about Fast and the Furious 7 when you have the most ultimate movie car right here? Duffman says it's too hot out. Go back to complaining about it being cold. We're gonna see if we can do it. Close. Eight to fly. Eight to fly. Come on in there. Oh. the lift. There you go. That's it. That's it. That's it. We're in London now. <laughs> they should pound. It's so yeah, magical. Know, it's magical with everybody so here. <laughs> now he's not going to come out. We're all jaded. We could care less about him now. We're just like, eh. We came in through the outdoor. Would you trust that man for president? <laughs>
guys from American Authors are playing tonight. I'm actually over here taking selfies with people. So it's very nice and accommodating of them. They're diagonally. Very cool stuff. May the Schwartz be with you. Merchandising, merchandising, merchandising. I'm sorry, bro. We're gonna go on Escape from Gringotts. That's where Bordak is. And that's where Gordak is. What was that? The Weasley's Wildfire Whiz Bangs. Fireworks from my brother's friend George. Dude, what are you doing here? This is my office, Bordak. The question is, what are you doing here? I was about to show our new clients the vault. I was just getting the keys. Huh? Well, I moved them. All you have to do is ask. Accio Keys. Mm. No way. You haven't seen me. We're gonna go all the way to 8 miles. Detroit in the house. Up to this. Autobots out. Would you like to take a survey? We gotta go to Ralph's. Do you think they sell half and half and take checks? We're in the Terminator store and check out this bag. If I was a girl, I would be totally all over this thing. Does this look similar? Yeah, Mary likes that bag. <laughs> it's just a little like it's shopping, a little bag, shopping bag now. So I'll tell you, this Terminator 2 leather MC, I'm assuming this is real leather. About yeah, it says leather. It's about $154, which I think is kind of a normal price for a leather jacket. Yeah. Except this one comes with the T2 logo. So it's the end of the day, walking back to the car. Why would I expect the escalator or moving walkway to work? In all seriousness, Universal Lens, you keep asking people to take surveys. Probably the biggest survey thing that you could ask is how about we fix the moving walkways and the escalators? Small things. Yet another escalator not working on the way home. People mover, I'm sorry, I want to get the term right. Escalator over here not working either. Hey, we just got back home from Universal, and look who it is! Hey! Where are you at? Friend's house. Yeah! So I know a couple people already uh, commented, and I gotta return comments tonight, so I'm gonna be up there for a couple hours trying to answer comments, but folks asked where Jessie was the last couple days. She's just been busy doing teenage girl things with other teenage girls. Yeah. You'll see more of Jessie probably tomorrow night. I think we're gonna try to open mail on uh, the vlog, so... and. We'll open it up with Jesse, because I saw there was stuff marked for Jesse's name. Really? Yeah. But we'll see. Okay. All right, so on that note, we're going to sign off for tonight, because I've got to edit the Bike Week stuff from last night. I'm going to edit today's video so I can get it set so it can upload overnight, and you guys get it at a reasonable time tomorrow. And then tomorrow night, I think we'll try to do some mail stuff. We'll see how that goes. If not tomorrow, then we'll do it Tuesday. And that's all. So it was a really short weekend because I think we jammed everything in. Although it seems long for everybody else. I think time flies when you're busy. But Anyway, thanks for watching. Thank you for all the likes. Thanks for the comments. Thanks for the subscriptions. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Have a great night. Happy Monday tomorrow. Let's get at it this week. Talk to you later.